Hi, Chris Gallo here, back again with the last couple parts of developing the core program. So we've done some anatomy, we've done some assessment, we've done some review of core assessment. Now let's talk about developing the core program. One of the key things we've seen in this course is everything's based on science. I have not made it up, it's not the Gellert method. Everything's been systematic, logical, and it should progress. It should build like a pyramid from the ground up. So when we talk about developing the core program, one of the things that we think about first is improving mobility of a person's leg or flexibility. When I say, typically from before, hamstrings and hip flexors are going to be tight, but hip flexors and quads are going to be tighter than hamstrings. So if someone has tightness in their hamstrings or tightness in their quads and their core, I'm sorry, tightness in their core and their, their, their quads and hip flexors, stretch it out through education, right? You've got that nice hip flexor stretch you can do, and standing quad stretch. These things you all know. Improve muscle length first. Second of all, work on motor control. Motor control, remember, is learning the activity first, where it's both the three phases. Motor control, which is the cognitive phase, making mistakes, classroom, make mistakes and they don't understand the concept. Then the associative phase, where the less mistakes becomes a little more under understandable and less mistakes and easy to get the picture. In the autonomous phase, it's automatic. So muscle and flexibility, First, second, motor control. Teaching the client, they need to understand how to do it. So using a mirror, using your hands, guiding them, maybe a model, something that gives them a visual. Match the way that the client learns to their learning method, okay? And lastly, progression. I can't say this enough. You want to teach clients static exercise before they in. Remember, static means in place. So right now I'm in place. Dynamic is something that is moving. Dynamic means moving. Cross that side, you can get on a BOSU ball, you can get on a diagonal ball, it can be with a sports court. Dynamic is harder, there's more coordination ball, there's more muscles involved with stability. So one of the things I like to start with first is a bridge, especially for the elderly, no tilt needed. You're basically lifting hips up and bring it down. Really straight forward. Again in the manual, there's progression and see. From bridging, you go to single leg bridge, you go to marching. To no hands, right? Which would be your stat. And then again, lying in your stomach, doing your chrome leg lift, making sure they get that tilt, chromotipus, prone, alternate, and then going into quadruped. Quadruped, remember, fire that neutral, pelvic posterior, anterior, neutral spine, alternate leg lift, control and then adding arms and legs. These are your static. From there, you go into dynamic, which would be, from here, bridging with a ball. So you've got a physio ball under your leg, lifting up your hips. You go to single leg bridge. You can also do single leg, I'm um, sorry, hamstring curls on your stomach, doing alternate arm, alternate leg on the physio ball. These are dynamic. You get into doing planks on the physio ball. Planks with a hold, planks with a leg lift. Increase in the arc, you do T bridges, which are more challenging. So the key thing is remember static versus dynamic. Remember what the client can do, safety first. If the client's having problems with something simple, go back and regress and make sure they master the exercise. I focus on quad control, work on reps. They need to get endurance because their strength is usually back after an injury, and endurance is a factor. So increasing reps, 10, 12, 15, or holding it longer which remember works on the fast twitch initially, which is strength. Long hold works on the slow twitch, which is your type 1 fibers. I hope that makes sense into the bigger picture and helps you with progressing your clients in the right way.